In the heyday of the analog recording era, the only way to make a professional quality recording was to book time in a multi-track studio full of high-end gear and work with professional engineers and producers. The advent of digital production and the project studio revolution changed all that. Now, the modern DAW, Digital Audio Workstation, is a virtual studio in a box, which, along with mics and speakers, can provide all the tools needed for fully professional audio and music production. A modern, small project studio or home studio can be inexpensively put together, and many software tools even provide musical capabilities to help out creative artists who may not be accomplished players themselves, or even have access to professional musicians and producers. But when it comes to setting up a small studio and developing a mastery of all the tools available, there's still going to be a significant learning curve to get to the point where the technical process of creating a recording doesn't get in the way of the creative side. That's where this course comes in. There's a lot of information available out there to help a novice musician, engineer, or producer through the initial setup and orientation of a new project studio, but it can be really spread out and may present a dizzying array of options. This course will take a mostly step-by-step -step approach through studio setup and general orientation for budding small studio operators. We'll start with a little background on general recording studio basics, DAW basics, and computer basics. The course will go through the various considerations for assembling the components needed for a typical small studio and the specific computer requirements for working with audio on a typical desktop or laptop. There are a lot of DAWs out there, ranging from simple free applications like GarageBand up to standard high-end professional packages like Logic or Pro Tools, and we'll take a brief look at how to select the best option based on finding the right balance between simplicity and creative power. We'll cover assembling the studio. Even though much of the action is inside the box, there'll still be outboard components that need to be hooked together. So the course will go over the computer, audio, and MIDI cabling needed to put all the pieces together. And we'll look at how to get started in the DAW, including considerations for creating a working template, a starting point that suits the new studio operator's specific needs. The course will look at the difference between audio and MIDI, the underlying technology behind virtual instruments. We'll look at both virtual instrument plugins and external electronic musical sources like hardware synths, drum boxes, and sequencers. And for the audio side, there'll be a section on microphones, analog processing, and the associated hardware required for capturing voice and other acoustic instruments and sounds. As far as studio activities, the course will go over how to set up for audio recordings and MIDI recordings, and working with external synths that may utilize both at once. It'll cover basic recording techniques like multi-track recording, punching, overdubbing, and recording and managing takes. And of course, there'll be a section on DAW editing of audio and MIDI regions and MIDI notes and performance data, including standard studio techniques like looping, flying in sections, and comping. The course will also include a basic look at mixing in the box, as well as incorporating outboard analog gear in the DAW mix. There'll be a brief section on special considerations of using external instruments and sequencers, like parallel audio and MIDI signal flow and DAW to sequencer synchronization. And the course will wrap up with a brief section on DIY mastering. We'll start off in the next video with a little technical background on the traditional recording studio and computer-based DAW.